As we saw just moments ago, for all the struggle and scandal that has surrounded these Olympic Games, a moment of unity and celebration took place inside the Olympic Stadium and surely throughout Greece over the victory by Fanny Halkia in the 400-meter hurdles. This is how powerful, sometimes on just one night, the Olympics can be. Sixty years ago this summer, the Olympics were about to go missing from the world again. In 1944, as in 1940, World War II forced cancellation of the Games. Tonight, Tom Brokaw tells the story of some of the first captives of that war. Polish officers who, after valiantly fighting the Nazis, were captured and detained for five years at a POW camp known as Woldenburg. Sixty years ago this summer, at a time when the only thing certain in their world was chaos, these men sought to keep the Olympic spirit alive. Remarkably, in a very unlikely setting, the Games of 1944 would take place after all. Here's Tom Brokaw. It happened here 60 years ago in the bleak and unforgiving grounds of a Nazi prison camp. The will to live, compete, and honor an ancient tradition. Four who were part of this astonishing story are alive to share it with us. Jerzy Staniski, 89 years old. Bodan Pistrakonski, 88. Vitol Domanski, 89. Arkady Berzhazinski, age 95. 60 years ago, in the summer of 1944, these men ignored the darkness, raised a flag of hope, in defeat, staged a Games of Triumph. In 1939, Poland was the first to fall, and its soldiers the first to be captured. At the beginning of war, the Olympians of Woldenburg are too used to death and almost out of hope. German uh, commander, they arranged such a thing, 12 hostages, and among them my father, which is here, and uh, he was in, in Auschwitz. And in 1941, November 22nd, uh, my father died in Auschwitz. Some of them hanged themselves, and there were some boys that shot themselves or went to the barbed wire. It was uh, not allowed. This said, you must go, you must go, you must go. And he not, waited for two, and end. Captivity batters their bodies and almost breaks them. If I... To jest ciekawa rzecz, bo ja nie wiem, może koledzy też, ale ja, jak chciałem kogoś zobaczyć, to patrzyłem w jadę. But soon enough they find...